you, you talked about Hitler coming into Austria, uh, uh, Kristallnacht yes. happened. Yes. How did your family manage to get out of Austria? Well, uh, my, my father was a custom tailor, had a tailoring business. And one of his key em employees uh, was a high officer in the Nazi party. And he protected us. He, uh, he, he told us about on, on November 11th, it's going to be a big a Kristallnacht. He didn't call it Kristallnacht, that was defined afterwards. But they're going to plunder all the Jewish stores and you better stay at home. And if your family, bring him to your home and you will, not, you will be protected. Nobody will, you will not be bothered. And I remember I was standing inside the door. We lived on the second floor. Now, Vienna is an old building and there were stone steps, no, no elevator. And I heard the hopnail boots coming up the stairs. They stopped outside of our door and then went on. We were never bothered. So, yeah. uh, uh, there was this one man who It's just incredible, us. was it incredible luck or incredible friendship? No, no, th th this wasn't luck. Luck was surviving, period. But that, that was, he made sure that we would not be bothered. He had enough, he had enough uh, 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 influence. He was a member of the Nazi party. And not only that, he, he saved us by, uh, uh, <clears throat> my mother was a Polish citizen. And at that point, uh, uh, Germany threatened all Polish citizens living in Vienna. If they don't leave by a certain date, they will be deported, which means just shoved across the border into Poland. And this man, his name was an Alois, was able to get extensions for us. Six months extension, six months extension, until in February of 1939, he told my parents, my father, I cannot get you another extension. I can you get you only one more extension. You have to leave Austria by August 31st, 1939. Now, as you all know, the war broke out September 1st, two days later. So we left, we left about August 25th, I think, and we went to Shanghai. Why did we go to Shanghai? <laughs> Shanghai was... I'm, I'm anticipating the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to ask Deborah's version, but uh, what, I, I, we will go back to that. But, but Deborah, what were you told when, when they said you were leaving your home? Right. Well, I was told by my parents that we, they were going on vacation and they were taking me with them because they couldn't get anyone to take care of me. I was very young at the time. And that's all I knew. It sounds really strange to believe that, but I believed that all these years. And it first came out when we were writing the book and we were alternating. And then when Ilya saw my part of it, he said, what are you talking about? What do you mean, what vacation? <laughs> I said, yeah. And I, I said to him, well, we went on vacation. That's what I was told. And that's and when And this he, was just a few years ago. That never was a few years ago, no. right. <laughs> <laughs> she never told me about the vacation part <laughs> until she wrote the book. I mean, the book. certainly you, you knew it wasn't. Yeah, I mean, you were on the last, you were yeah, on the, the last, last boat yeah. right, to leave. Right, sure, sure. And uh, the reason we went to Shanghai, Shanghai was the only place in the entire world that had no restrictions of any kind. Yeah. All you do is book passage. You couldn't come to the United States. There was a quota system. Every, every country in the entire world Countries you wouldn't even dream of going, if you wouldn't let Jews in, unless they had somebody living there. Anyway, there were all kinds of restrictions. Schenke, all you had to do is book passage. It was an international city at the time. So out of desperation, nobody really wanted to go to Schenke. We booked passage, and we left uh, August 25th. It was the last boat out, actually. People left after us, but they had to go. The sea lanes were closed. So the only way to get to Schenke was uh, uh, via, via Russia, took the trans uh, Railroad to the end of Russia, a port called Vladivostok. Then they went to Japan. From Japan, they came to Shanghai.